Okay, we're gonna try to record some Dark Souls. Yeah, yeah. Wait, what? What? I don't like that for lock-on. What did I do? I'm trying to specifically... No. No, go back. I'm trying to change this. No cancel. Um, what's a better button for lock on? What's the conflicting button? Cancel. Resolve the other conflicts. Okay, there we go. So the conflict is gesture menu. Who cares? be using gestures. Let's go back. <laughs> I know, this is like annoying as hell. Maybe I'll cut it out of uh, the full version. Okay, that's fine. What I wanted to change was the dash button. Okay, dash is O. That's fine. What's L3? Is L3 assigned? What is L3? L3 goes unassigned. Okay. Uh, let's see. We have to make a character. I don't think we're actually going to make him, but, uh, I can try. <laughs> I'll probably end up making a female character in the end. So this is pretty much going to be character creation. Let's see, Ranta, Grimgar. Tough to find uh, art from the light novels. I mean, obviously, I, I downloaded a few books. I could pull one of those up. Let me see. Uh, let's see if I have one downloaded. I know I've got one downloaded. He's not in. He's not featured in. Looking for Ranta. Click 
Bram Gar. Fantasy and Ash. Are there any covers with, like, Ranta very prominently featured? Hmm. Looks like probably no. Some of the faces in Souls games are just so bad. Oh my god. that does. The master key is very good. The tiny being's ring is good if you suck at the game. Which I kind of do, but... <laughs> the Old Witch's Ring. I'll just take that. I think you can find the other stuff, I just don't know where. For the sake of running through this game, the Master Key might be good, because I'm going to try to get through this game quick. Besides this... <laughs> Young... at his nose. It's kind of down.
this is not gonna look like who I'm trying to make it look like, but... Um... okay with it. Color. Brown. Oh well. I can't see crap, but we'll go with that. His nose still seems a bit too wide. Okay. Alright, he looks like a human being. So, I'm okay with it. I normally go with a female character in Souls games, so... Maybe we'll see if we can make his, um... This'll probably make or break this character. We'll probably mess him up. Alright. Good enough. <laughs> Good enough. Dark. Life oh, and, and death. death. And of course, light and dark. Then from the dark they came and found the souls of lords 
within the flame. Nito, the first of the day. The witch of Isolith and her daughters of Chaos. Gwyn, the Lord of Sunlight, and his faithful knights. And the furtive pygmy, so easily forgotten. With the strength of lords, they challenge the dragons. Gwyn's mighty lords peeled apart their stone skins. The witches weaved great firestorms. Nito unleashed a miasma of death and disease. And Seath the scales betrayed his own, and the dragons were no more. Thus began the Age of Fire. But soon the flames will fade, and only dark will remain. Even now, there are only embers. And man sees not light, but only endless nights. And amongst the living are seen carriers of the accursed dark side. Mm. Smile. <laughs> yes, indeed. The dark sign brands the undead. And in this land, The undead are corralled and led to the north. The north. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. This is your fate. Okay. I think something drops down from above. Maybe not. <laughs> oh, yep. It was a knight, right? Yep. Get a look at our ble beautiful face. Aww. You're looking beautiful there, Ranta. Oh, so we have just this thing equipped. We got no shield.
Poor guys. can run, we can jump, we can roll. Kind of. Hello. I'll tell you how I play Souls games. I pretty much try to get a good shield and just stick it out there and get a spear, and I just play it like that. Of course, it's a lot better to be a uh, parrying player, but I'll do whatever I can to survive. We're most likely going to die to this boss the first time through. I believe we can fight him right now. Yeah, we're probably gonna die. Just warning you guys. So, we could fight him now. Or we can run into here. So, you get to adventure around a little bit if you do this. I don't know if you get anything if you fight him with just the stick. Oh god. Obviously, now we have the shield. Backstab. We're so weak still. God, we're so weak. I'm not sure if there's another weapon we could have grabbed. I get the feeling there was... Like a small dagger or something? I think there is. But we'll take care of them before we go exploring. I... I think there's a dagger. Ooh, a scimitar. And is there a dagger? I swore there was another item. Maybe I missed it. Get your shield. Oh well, we got that. So I assume this is the boss fight. Gonna get our butts handed to us if it is. Nope, not yet. Camera's a little wonky. I'm just gonna fix that. There's a tricky dude up here. And he knocks a hole in this wall.
Hello. Oh, you. You're no hollow. Thank goodness. I'm done for, I'm afraid. I'll die soon, then lose my sanity. I wish to ask something of you. You and I, we're both undead. Hear me out, will you? Regrettably, I have failed in my mission. But perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family. Thou who art undead art chosen. And thine exodus from the undead asylum maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. Well, now you know. And I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing. Here, take this. An Estus flask. An undead favorite. Oh, and this. Now I must bid farewell. I would hate to harm you after death. So go now, and thank you. will respectfully walk away. Is that where we came from? I think so. Yeah. Just trying to be cautious so I don't die to something before the boss. But I probably will. There's an item up here you can't reach, I don't believe. Nope. I don't know all the uh, illusory wall locations, so there could be some. And I'm just not seeing them. Oh my god. Poor guy. Okay, so that's how you get it back out here. So we've got a shortcut now. And we could go back through... I think we could go back through the double door. But, uh... So I have lock on if I need it. Ah. Okay, 
we got Estus. So if Oh my god. Come on, no. I could use an Estus, but I, I don't want to. store the big pilgrim key what is that noise I'm hearing now I think he'll stay dead There are some secrets here. I mean, I know you can come back here late in the game, but uh, I think there's some secrets. Treasure ahead. Can I trust you? What are you talking about? I can't trust you. That's where we came from. It is stated that one day an undead shall be chosen. To leave the undead asylum in pilgrimage hmm. to the land of the ancient lords. The land Lord of the Ra ancient lords. Lodra. <laughs> I think the loading times are a lot quicker in this game. So we can level up. Question is, how should we level up? Um, endurance is good. I, yeah, that gives you stamina and equip load. Vitality is always good. Strength, if you're going to be an attacking build. Um, <sighs> Attunement is like, how many spells can you hold? So, until we start getting spells, maybe don't throw any into there, or if you know you are gonna throw spells in, just start chucking them in there now. Dexterity, a lot of it is for, um, like, bows and arrows. Intelligence is for, like, uh, 
I think a lot of times it's for healing spells, but it might be for all of them. Or maybe that's faith. I don't know if intelligence is just general. Resistance, um, poison and stuff. Uh, that's pretty much it. For now, I think we'll... Yeah, one of the things I always watch early, adding to dexterity actually ups your uh, attack a lot more than strength. So I don't, I don't totally get that. What is strength doing exactly? I guess dexterity doesn't do anything for the left weapon, which that would make you think that strength is more for... Uh, is more for holding weapons in both hands, since it ups the left weapon as well. But I'll do that for now. We'll figure it out. Actually, I'll do that. So we can equip more. We're probably going to need health, so my next level up will do health. Can't kindle while you're hollowed. No humanity, so you can't reverse hollowing. We have to go fight the first boss before we can reverse it. Well, what do we have here? You must be a new arrival. Let me guess. Fate of the undead, right? Well, you're not the first. But there's no salvation here. You'd have done better to rot in the undead asylum. But too late now. <sighs> well, since you're here, let me help you out. There are actually two bells of awakening. One's up above in the undead church. The other is far Ah, below, in the ruins at the base of Blight Town. Ring them both, and something happened. Brilliant, right? Not much to go on, but I have a feeling that won't stop you. So, off you go. It is why you came, isn't it? To this accursed land, the undead? <laughs> now, if you're a speedrunner, well, I don't know if you're a speedrunner, but you can go down here um, and head down to Blight Town right at the start. The issue with heading... I, I don't know. Stairs down here. The issue with heading to Blight Town is um, you can get poisoned very easily in Blight Town, and the enemies are a little stronger, too, as well. Try holding with both hands. Enemy ahead. Like, directly ahead? No. So yeah, this will lead to Blight Town. Uh, I believe. Could be wrong. Yeah, I'm probably wrong. Let's see. This leads to the um, ghost ghost area thingamajig, I think. Which I won't mess around with them yet. Um, the reason why you can't mess around with the ghost area yet is, um, you need a ring to be able to survive and fight the boss. So we can't go down there. Absolutely can't do it yet. She cannot speak.
bug it had. A baby. Maybe this is the way to Blight Town? I think so. Through the graveyard. There's some very tough enemies in here as well. And I believe you won't be able to kill them yet. Because you don't have a soul weapon. Like a, um... I don't know if that's what you call it. But a, um... A weapon that basically does spirit damage. You don't, you don't have that yet, so... Can injure them. Well, yeah, the skellies. Soul of the lost undead. Uh, so there's pretty much one path you can go as a beginner. Which is ahead. This way. Now look out in front of you, keep your shield up. Yeah, you want to be careful here. Because of him. And you can see there's a guy there as well. We absolutely want to get this guy dusted. Forgot about this dude. I'm a little freaked out, because I feel like I can hear things. You can see that dude. Now I think there's a leap of faith uh, here. I don't think I'm going to do it yet. Oh, I used an Estus. There's a leap of faith there. If you're confident, I, I don't know, I wonder if you can do it at the beginning. But you could see, um, if you go over here, you can see there's an item over there. So that's a leap of faith. Is there anything around the corner here? No. Another thing you can do, and I'll see if I can do it. Oh. I guess he can't. I didn't know. So, with, with certain guys, you can press forward plus the um, strike button, and they'll push. And obviously you can see if you do R2. Like, the regular R2 is this. If you do forward... Plus R2. He dives. If you do the regular R, he does that. If you do forward in R, he does that, which is actually really dangerous. Soul of the Lost Undead. Now you gotta be careful here. I don't remember which end he's at, but there is a rat. There he is. He can really mess up your uh, stuff. Can he come out here? He probably could have, but he got stuck. Um, the rats can cause, like, the plague, basically. 
so that's why they're kind of dangerous. Now we can't go in here yet. Uh, there's a boss you need to defeat. And you'll come around the other side. Oh god. Oh god. Mmm, I suck at parrying. Come here, come at me. I really stink at it. Sorry. Okay, come at me, bro. I'm like trying to anticipate and I'm failing miserably. Come here. Come at me. I didn't even know he had those. Ah, I did it. Finally. Now there are some secrets. The footsteps are, like, freaking me out. Oh, see this guy. Where's he going? Where are you going, buddy? Do you know a way to get over here? You gonna fall through that crack? Nope, he's just gonna slice at the wall. Is he gonna fall through? I think he is. Come here, friend. Now, yeah, I think you can fall through here. Like, right there. And you can go exploring down there. I think it's a difficult path, though, if I remember right. Um, we'll try it, though. Hopefully we live. Imminent treasure ahead. Oh god. It's kind of a waste of Estus, but... Oh my god. If you had a bow and arrow, you could uh, chuck them all off here. But we got nothing like that. Bye. What a treasure. Oh my god, somebody fell off a building or something. Hmm. Hmm. I'm just hoping I explored everything I could here. There could be illusory walls I don't know about. There's an item down there. You could probably run, like, jump in there. I, I just don't know. Oh. 
humanity. So you could turn back into a human at this point, right? With that? Hmm. I don't think it'd be much benefit to you, though. I could be wrong, but I, I don't think there's a huge amount of benefit. Taking things nice and slow. Okay, who's in here? Okay. Doesn't sound good. Soul of the Lost Undead. Oh god. Yeah, if you have a uh, bow at this point, which I think you can get somehow. I don't remember how, but uh, you can snipe all of them if you have a bow. The timing in Dark Souls 1 is kind of funky. Like, you can time it, like, right as it's coming in. Like, that was even pretty late, that uh, last strike. Uh, come here. Mm. Oh. Okay, guys. Huh. <laughs> That should have been a rye post. A repo, I don't know. How you say it. A repost. Hmm, right in the face. Kind of a waste of an Estus. There's a uh, sp spawn spot right there. Uh, and it, I believe it only has five Estus there. From now on, you only get five. Until, unless you, you know, upgrade the spot. Okay, we can do one at a time. Hmm, no. No. Okay, doesn't... Come here. I'm sure there were better ways to deal with them. There's probably a lot better ways to deal with them. Okay. What's down here? I think there's an enemy behind that wall. I knew you were there.
Oh god. I don't think you want to go down there. You do want to go out here. And talk to him. Well now, you seem to have your wits about you. Hmm? Then you are a welcome customer. I trade for souls. Everything's for sale. <laughs> now what you want is the orange soapstone, definitely. So you can write messages. You might want the bottomless box. You may want to buy another weapon. I like the club pretty early on. That's a good one. The dagger's okay as well. A better shield, possibly. Um, there's one shield in the game I really like, in this game. Um, depending, depending on what you're going for. Quivers. Chainmail, which not really helpful, it's just too heavy. Maybe the leather gauntlets you could buy. So I'd say if you have the money and you feel like having an experience, definitely get the orange soapstone. And get the bottomless box. Might want to get the residence key. I don't know if you need that or if the master key opens those residencies. But since I don't know, I will buy that. And we'll leave the bottomless box for later. We should get the repair box probably too. Thank you kindly. <laughs> Thank you kindly. We definitely should get the repair box when we can. Now I believe this is the way to the doggy thing. Oh, I could be wrong. The doggy boss. Yeah, come here. That was bogus. I totally parried that. So this is not the way, I think, to the uh, wolf area. The wolf area is so tough. Oh, it's the way to that. And I suppose we could also jump over there. Try jumping. No thanks. Not, not right now. Maybe later. We can pillage corpse, get a wooden shield. Is it better than what I've got? The leather shield? Yep. At least, you know, the stats say they're better. What's with the weird blue tint to some areas? Like, that looks weird to me. Like, what exactly is shining on it? I guess the blue sky? So the question right now is, do we try to get our one Estus back? Which I think we do.
it does mean we'll have to do some more work. All the enemies will respawn once we sit at the bonfire. Can't level up, we don't have enough souls. Okay, we have to kill this guy again, we have to kill him. Gotta kill that other guy, too. Okay, we had to at least kill those guys. <sighs> One of them's already chucking firebombs. As you can see, these guys are no fun. One of the very toughest areas um, early on. Absolutely one of the toughest areas early on. Right here. I want to say tough for a beginner, but it's... It's tough for me right now, so... Can't get access to this yet. We have to come around the other side. That is the passageway to the dog area, I believe. The wolves. Um... Another difficult area. Let's see if they follow me down here. If they don't, that's going to make this a challenge. If they're, like, sitting there. This guy's chucking his dang firebombs. There is somebody hiding in here. Oh god. I don't like this. There's a guy in this room. Let's see. So, it's so creepy when you can hear them running around, but you don't know where they are. It's so creepy. So creepy. Let me open my box in peace. Oh god. Fire bombs. Yeah, using items in Dark Souls is not really that fun. Ah. At least not to me. It's not exactly easy to switch items on the go while you're fighting. Because you have to take your thumb off your movement or you have to do some kind of claw method. Now that's the default. Maybe if I switch the item thing to like... Yeah, one of these buttons. I suppose there's some people that don't use a shield at all. Um, like they just parry, so they don't need to use the block. So maybe for them they could uh, assign change item to L1.
Okay, you come down here. If you do a backstab, I believe they reward you with more souls. Oh god. I believe if you try to open that, they will run over here. So it's best to take care of as many enemies as you can right now. Oh god. Don't like this part. I have to kill him and them. You gonna come all the way up here? Damn it. They saw me. Are they gonna chuck firebombs, or are they just gonna rush me? I hate you guys. Oh god. Okay, we got a soul of the lost undead. We've got you. Being... Jerkish. Is it just you? Nice. Okay, there's a guy up here. As you can see, this is a tough area as well. Now there is a major boss coming up, like a, like a major enemy. Come here. There is a major, major enemy coming up here. Simtar, Longsword, they're about the same. Let's uh, test out. So this one kicks. If you can execute it, right? I can't. There we go. I think the scimitar is pretty good. The scimitar. Okay. If you want to fight a really tough boss... Well, early thing. You go downstairs. There's an enemy down there. It's best to take care of him early. Just because, uh... You know, he's kind of difficult and... Maybe you want to challenge him, so you can see what your level is with this game. Now there is an enemy on the stairs, as you can see. So yeah, if you went down there, there's a red-eyed demon. He's the toughest thing you would have fought by this point. He can probably take off... I'm guessing he can take off 75% of your HP with one hit. Maybe he can take off 100. I'm not sure. But uh, don't mess with him. Yeah, don't go down there. If you're new to the game, don't, don't go down there. Even if you're a veteran, you know. Well, if you're really good, go down there now. But if you're like me... You're gonna avoid him. So we're gonna continue around. 
We're not gonna go down there. We're gonna go up. Uppity up, up, up. There's a very tough enemy down there. We can go down there because we have the master key. But we won't mess around down there. We will not be going down there. Maybe after we beat this boss, we'll go check those two enemies out and die to them. A liar. I knew there was something like this here. We most likely won't beat him. Alright, we beat him. You get a uh, Twinkling Titanite, which is a, a weapon forging item. So you can make some weapons. Let's go die to the boss, right? Okay, first thing you want to do... Well... Yeah. First thing you want to do... Head up. Be careful, because this guy's gonna shoot you. Okay, we've taken care of them. It's a lot harder once you've lost the battle to take care of them. You'll see if, if we lose. Most likely I'll quit out if we lose. Um, but yeah, if we lose, you have to actually make your way up here and like really fight them quick. I believe the boss spawns automatically. Okay. We're just gonna walk on over there. No problem. We're just gonna run through the door. Ah! tell you I'm not very good at this game. Yeah. Okay, Taurus Demon. Run. I think he's gonna get us. Oh god. Get up there. Oh my god, I didn't know he could do that. I had no clue he could do that. Is that a new thing? Oh my god, I'm dead. <laughs> Is that new? Did he do that in the uh, previous game? I probably never tested it, because I probably always came down quick. Oh god. Now, we could have become human, because we actually had one humanity. So we could have come back here and become human. And then I think my HP would have been higher. That's kind of stupid, but I, I didn't really 
notice that. Alright, so next time we get to fight him again for reals. See ya! Smile.